So how do you treat service design as a whole? As a productization of a service or the servitization of a product? Well, that's a question I got from Kanchan and she said uh, she's getting confused. And I can totally imagine that. She gave the example of a company like Uber, which have a really strong product, the app. But they provide a service. They get us from A to B. So if we project service design onto this context, what is it? Is it about productization or of a service or is it about servitization of a product? This is my take. I feel that every business is already a service business. Uh, every company in the world is already delivering services, even if you're a car manufacturer or a shoe manufacturer. Um, it's service dominant logic for me that uh, explains that all. Now, looking at service design, if you think about the app, even, and you, if you think about the app as a product in this case, it's just one touch point in a journey from getting from A to B. Like the cab is also an important uh, piece of the puzzle, payments, uh, all those kind of things. So even, even if we might think that Uber is a product company because they have an app, they are, like you said, already providing a service. And service is the thing that they are, where the value is created. The value is not created through the product. And even if you look at the, the app itself, like it has so much resemblance, much more resemblance to a service than a product, that for me, it's kind of silly to actually talk about apps like products. Now, the app is an important touch point. It's a big touch point. It's a very tangible and visible touch point, but it's just one touch point. So getting back to your question, how should we look at service design in this context. I think service design, if you're interested in designing end-to-end -end experiences, so improving the entire uh, journey from A to B, then think about apps as, as a part of that service, as a touch point in that service. If you are just interested in that small little touch point, an app, then using product language, might be appropriate, but even the, even in that case, I would prefer to think about the uh, the app as a service. And if you are struggling to explain service design to a product-oriented company, which happens a lot, check out this video because in this video um, I talk about how to sell service design to a product-oriented company. So click over here and let's continue the conversation in that video.